ini hey hello everyone hello teacher nice to meet hello, you teacher. nice to see you guys how was everybody's vacation i am six Pretty good. Very yeah, good. teacher. Very yeah. good. So, so, so. so, so. Um, don't know why so, so. I'm sick, teacher. Ah, co sick. COVID. No. <laughs> ah, then not very sick. Then it's not very sick. <laughs> no, 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 no. In this moment, everything is COVID. Everything is COVID. <laughs> okay. And what happened? You have the flu? You have a cold? What happened, Rosa? Um, sería Arthritis, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Ah, uh, arthritis. Arthritis, teacher. I'm how, o como how, tengo arthritis. Así va. Tengo arthritis. Yes, I have uh, arthritis. I have arthritis, teacher. Okay. Okay. Um, this is difficult because this is permanent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to review a little bit the past tense. Okay. Why the past tense? Because we're going to ask our partners the different questions, right? When we make past tense, we use the auxiliary did. Okay. So normally we have WH, did, the noun. Okay. The verb in present and the complement, right? In the, yes. So that it's clear. Now, what is going to be the idea? We can have the idea for when we make the questions like, uh, Question, what did you do? Oh, right, and so on, okay? So all of those are how we make questions in the past. Now, those are WH. Why WH? Because they give information. So you say, where did you go? The person is not yes or no. The person has to give you information, right? But if I say, did you? If I say, did you go to the beach? Then the answer is, yes, I did or no, I didn't, okay? So in this moment with our partners, we want to practice asking the WH questions, like what, where, when, things like that, about what our partners did during the vacation. You ready?
Okay, Oscar, how are you? Oscar, can you? Yes. Hi, Mister. <laughs> hey. Good, good evening. Good evening. Uh, it's only me, or it's only me, or everybody's uh, are done, or I'm confused. Oh, everybody, <laughs> everybody's in the group. They're finishing. They're they're almost finishing in the groups. Oh. Uh huh. They are. They finish right there, right about now. They should be returning. Hmm. Well. Well. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So uh, for a moment, I feel, I felt confused, you know, uh -huh. but, but well, um, <laughs> I surprised me, but my week, well, it, for me, I work, but I rest only the Friday six, you know, and then with my wife and and me, we we went to 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 bike. Uh, can you remind me, paseo? Anybody remember how to say paseo? Trip. That's right, on a trip. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, we went to a trip in bicycling. You know, and I like that sport. And then I teach, I teach her, and how, how can? How, how do we say teach or, in past? Sorry, talk. Okay. Talk. talk. And then it's great, and we we trip in the in the park in my town, you know, and well, all the all the afternoon. Okay. And it was great. That's it. And I don't know what about you. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. What about you guys? What did you find out about your partner? What did your partners do? Nobody talked to their partner, huh? Nobody. Ah, no importa el compañero. No quiero decir nada de él o ella, huh? In my case, good afternoon, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> my my partner sent me. She went to Dilo Vasco, and because she visited your your parents in Her parents. Yeah, she sent me only that. Okay. All right. Interesting. Dilo Vasco. Yes, and Neida. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. My partner is a. Uh... All week sick in the COVID. Mm. It's terrible all week, but it's good. It's good that it's in the vacation because have an opportunity to relax, but it's, it's bad that it's COVID. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that is by today. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Well, remember that when we talk about vacations, when we talk about events, things that happen, always we use the past tense. We have the past tense regular verbs and irregular. But when we talk about the future, what do we use when we want to talk about the future? You can use, for example, well, for, with the going to? Going to. Uh -huh. it, it, with a verb in the in the infinitive verb, and when you use a will in the in the verb, it's the same. Okay, good. So we can use going to, we can use will, and we can use the present continuous. The present continuous can also be used for the future tenses. Today we're going to see a small video and learn a little bit about these different forms of how to talk about the future. Okay, so here we can see this is 
talking about the future. Present continuous and going to. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. So if you can see, they have the similar meaning, but the difference really has to do with the predictions, what you think is going to happen. But the two are used for planned actions and the two are used to talk about something that is, that is going to happen in the future. The difference is only for the present continuous is when, and going to the difference is for when you predict something, I think, is going to happen, okay? Then we're just going to, not ing, not the present continuous. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus a verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio. Okay, sounds a little complicated, but really it's pretty easy. There are two ways to make the questions. The two are similar. One is going to, okay, and the other is ing. So what are you going to celebrate or what are you celebrating? Okay, what is he going to do or what is he doing? Do you notice the difference is the going? This is only the difference. The other is always with ing. So as an example, after class, what do you do after class? I make the question is, I have two forms to make the question, okay? What are you going to do, right, after class? And what is the other form? So 
One form is what are you going to do after class? And what is the other form? How can I make the other question? What are you doing after class? Excellent. What are you doing after class? Because it's the same idea for going to, but the verb is going to be ing. And the answer is the same. I am going to sleep. Or if I am going to sleep, what is the other way? I am. Sleeping. After class. Do we... The teacher is correct. I do intake a dinner. No, you need a verb. No. You need a verb. Uh, okay. So I am, you need a verb with ing. Uh, I, I am doing to dinner. Okay, for example, I am doing dinner or in normally it would be I am cooking dinner or I am preparing dinner, but the action with ing. Teacher. Yes. I may use I'm gonna, for example. Um. Do people use gonna, but gonna is not correct? No. No, but you can use gonna. But but in the movies, uh, use use gonna. Yeah, like in Spanish. In the Spanish, I hear people say juela, but no juela is correct. I listen in a lot of songs that uh, gonna. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that's because that's how the Amer Amer Americans say going to. Going to, uh, incorrect is gonna. It's because when they speak very fast, they go, I'm going to, 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 and then it, then you hear, I'm gonna. But it's uh, to. The same that you hear, okay. I have to. When you hear, I have to very fast, I have to. Okay. Uh -huh, but it's not that it's, I, it's not that I, it's have to, it's I have to. It's not that I'm going to, it's I'm gonna. It's the, the way that many people speak, but the gonna doesn't exist. It doesn't exist correctly, right? It exists in culture. It's possible you can, but you shouldn't. <laughs> yes, of course, you can, but you shouldn't. Just like in Spanish, like the people say juela, and you can, but you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Right, it's like in a... Like in Spanish, when we say ba, it, ba doesn't exist, but everybody understands it. Okay, no problem, ba. Ah, you see, <laughs> like that. So it's for the culture, the culture, yes. But when you do a, a, formal, a formal job interview, when you do an exam, when you do writing, the, it doesn't exist. When you write, you, can, you have to write in the correct form, which is going to be, Going to, even if you pronounce gonna, but the writing is still the same writing. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Um, gonna and wanna mm -hmm. is, is, is like to caliche in, in English, yes? Um, a little bit different. As it's I no, no, because the, 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 the word exists. For example, I want to exist, but the people say I wanna. So then it sounds like I, it doesn't sound like I want to. Yeah. Are some idiom teacher? No, 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 not idiom because they are the they are the words. They they are want to. They they are only for the mispronunciation. Mm -hmm. 
Only the pronunciation is not the correct one because it's the same, I want to. It's the verb. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. So remember, it's the idea is, is the same. It's not, it's not a, a new expression, only is the pronunciation that is different. That's the only difference. Okay. So what else do you do after class? No. Tell me again, Joanna, what happened? Sorry, I indication I my song in the ah, in the lab. Okay, okay, <laughs> Sorry. okay. No, no, no problem, no problem. Want to make sure. Okay. Thank okay. you. Sure. So we have two forms, right? The two forms is ing and the other is going to. I'm going to sleep. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Okay, very good, Osman. I'm going to sleep. Or I am sleeping, right? I am sleeping after, after the class. That's right. Okay. Teacher. Yes? In using, for example, for example, when I at uh, a ang mm -hmm. we we had to say in the complement uh, the timer expression works yes always always is necessary a time expression when i when i use ing Always when you use it to ing is necessary, it's obligation to have the time expression. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because because if we if we I know use time expression, I speak in present. Correct. That is the difference. So okay. If you need or if you want to have a future, you need to have a time expression. And what are the time expressions? They're like later, tomorrow, next week, uh, after work. All of these are the different time expressions that you use. Okay. 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 Teacher. Yes. Teacher, but 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 I came to use um, ing and I going to in a question. Yes, you can use the but not together. But for example, the ing is. Are you working after class? Mm -hmm. But but in this case, we are uh, we are to use ing. Uh huh. And the time expression. What? The ing with the time expression. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or the same question: Are you going to work after class? Mm, okay, okay. The, the two forms? The two forms. The two forms is the same idea. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do? Let me share a little bit with you so we are clear. All right. So now that we understand with our partners, we're going to practice a little bit. We're going to use 5.4. You can see 5.4. And we have two parts. In both parts, we need to use here, present continuous. Look, follow the instructions, present continuous. In part two, no present continuous. In part two, going. There's a difference, right? Part one, present continuous. Part two, going to. Okay. So you have to be careful with your partners to make sure you use the correct. You ready? Yes, sure. Okay, perfect. So with our partners, let's take a few moments. Let's say, uh, I think five minutes is enough. Five minutes is good. It's not too long. Okay.
Okay, let's see how you did. Let's make sure that everybody had the correct answers. Okay. So, okay. number one, what did you put? Are you doing? Are you doing? Okay. Let me see. The first and second is, are you do doing? Are you doing too? That's number two also. The same, yeah. It's the same answer. Okay. Okay. What about number three? Are we having, are having, are having, okay. are having. good. Number four. Are you staying? Are you staying? staying? Are you staying? Okay. Good, good. Now, what about here, part two? What's number one? I'm going to be. I'm going to be. Number two is going to be. Sick. Going to be. Number two is? Going to be. Sick. Going to be. Sick. It's going to be. Sick. Only going. 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 Like, I'm going to work. Like this? Number two, like this? It's going to visit. Uh, it's going, going, to, going to. Okay, it's going to visit. Okay. Number three. I'm going, I'm going to, work. to work. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. And number four. I'm, I'm going, going to, to stay. 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 We have all of those correct, you see? So in your platform, you should also have all of these. The answer is like this, all of them are correct. <laughs> it's okay? Teacher, yo tengo, yes. la, yo tengo la última igual que, que, que se ha puesto y a mí me sale, a mí me parece mala. Ajá. Entonces, tener doble espacio en algún lugar, Un espacio adicional, una letra mayúscula que no debe de ser. ¿Cuál? Algún punto. Uh -huh, ah, ya le puse punto. Ah, ok. Try again. Sí, eso era. Gracias. Yay. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok. No problem. Yeah, it's normal. It's normal. Always there is with one mistake or one thing, it's is one one little thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Anyone else? Any other questions? Everything else was okay? Okay, perfect. Now we're going to practice our listening. So listen and take notes. Listen and take notes. Here we have our listening. Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so we're here in the conversation. There are two people speaking, right? What are they talking about? Or repeat one more time. Do 
do you want to listen one more time? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's listen one more time. Let's be sure. It will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ma'am, please. Okay, there we have the conversation, the same that it's in WhatsApp, right? So what is the idea? What are they talking about? Not about the meetings. About the meeting, okay. And what happened with the meeting? He remember he ha we he had a meeting at at sorry news. Okay, at two forty. Forty thirty. No. At two thirty, right? Yeah. Okay. So then, what happened with the meeting? It's canceled, right? Right. Okay, so then who's calling? Who is the person calling? Dr. Gail. That's right, it's Gail. And who does he want to speak to? He wants to speak to Miss Miss Graham. That's right, he wants to speak to her. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he leaves a message. What does he want her to do? So what does he want her to do? Tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. That's right, but that's, he wants her, he wants him to tell her, but he wants, Mr. Gale, Mr. Kale wants her to do something right here. What does he want? He needs to communicate with, with the person in this case, the girl. Yes, he wants the girl, this case, he wants her to call him. He wants her to call him. That's why he says, yes, give him, a, give her the message, but ask her to call. That's her. That way, Mrs. Yes, that way he can speak to Mrs. Brown. Okay. So what are we going to do with our partners? Uh, we have the conversation in or in WhatsApp, whatever is easier for you. In 5.6 or WhatsApp, and we're going to practice the conversation. One time the secretary, one time Mr. Kale, and then we switch. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's do it. With our partner, let's practice the conversations. Thank you. 
Maria, you have any problems? Maria, what happened? Okay, Maria, is better? Can you hear me? Maria, can you hear me? Teacher, la plataforma me sacó. Uh, Estoy teniendo mala señal y no pude escuchar bien la pronunciación. De hecho, le iba a pedir de favor que usted pronunciara los números porque me pareció escuchar 4031 y, okay. y pensé escuchar 4 o algo así. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Eh, si está teniendo mala señal, es mejor que apaguese el video porque eso, el video jala mucho internet y después eso puede ser que solo con eso es suficiente para que puedas escuchar todo bien. Ok, excelente. Uh -huh. Gracias. De nada. Vaya, ¿Me escuchas bien? María, ¿me puedes escuchar? No. Ahorita sí, lo primero no se lo escuché. Ok, ok. Bye. Entonces, se le escucha cortado. No sé si se me escucha bien. No, yo le escucho cortada. Ok. Aquí tenemos 2.30. 2.30. Y los números son 646-555-5555. Six four six five 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 four zero three one. Me sacó teacher, le, le escuché desde el <laughs> desde el seis. Ay no, perdón. No, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Lo intentamos una vez más, okay? Here we go. And Six four six five 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 four zero oh, three one. Okay, now let's listen and make sure that it's correct. Osmel and Okeli van a ser los primeros en pasar. Okay, Osmel and Okeli, eh, Osmel, the secretary, Okeli, Mr. Kale. Okay, good morning, parking enthusiasts.
Kelly. Oh, Kelly? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, no problem, no problem. Hello, hello. May I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is repeating no, the pronunciation of K K K A L E. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2 30. Friday at 2 30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646555 Yes, Mr. K. I give Miss Graham the message. Graham. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good. Very good, guys. The name is Miss. Miss Graham. Graham. It's Graham. Yes. Mm -hmm. Graham. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Alguien más? Algún otro voluntario? Reina, thank you. ¿Qué más? Ajá. Reina and Roxana. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Reina is the secretary. Roxana, Mr. Kale. Okay. Okay. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not it. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's it's K A L E. All right. Please tell her our me meeting in on Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is five four. Uh, no, sorry, no. Uh -huh. six, six four six five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four. Uh, I oh uh, three one. Yes, okay. Mr. Kell. Um, I give Mr. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Very good. Very good. What's important? Okay. The important is that here we hear two different numbers, right? The two are correct. You can say 4031 or you can say 4031. The two forms are correct. Any questions? No? It's okay. Okay, perfect. Ahora vamos a practicar ustedes creando a alguno. Están llamando a su empresa. O están llamando a inglés corporativo. ¿Ok? ¿Y qué están haciendo? Que no van a poder presentarse a clases, que quieren cancelar la reunión, que se quieren eh, información, que los llamen de vuelta, cualquier cosa. ¿Ok? You're going to practice with your partners and then you're going to present in the class. So right now we go with our partners. We are going to practice and then we're going to present. ¿Ok? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer en el grupo? Para que todos estemos claros, ¿qué van a hacer en los grupos? Vamos a una conversación. Make a conversation. The different conversation. Make a conversation. Like a, like a conversation, for the example. Yes, like a conversation for the example, but it's your conversation, right? It's your our, ideas. Our conversation. Correct. Okay, let's try.
Maria, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, déjame ver. Vamos a ver con... Let's see. Ok. Voy a sacar a Reina, a ver si Reina puede ser tu compañera. Ok. Gracias. De nada. Para, porque veo que a vos te da mucho problema, mejor la muevo a ella para acá. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome, María. Don't worry. A todos nos ha pasado que a veces el internet no quiere trabajar con nosotros. Así es. Sí. No, no se mueve reina. Let me try another person. Let me see. Let me try Irving. Mm. Okay, Maria. Como que no. Ya vamos a ver. No. Let me try one more, Oscar. There we go. Okay. So, Maria, you can practice with Oscar. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good evening, Oscar. Oscar, can you hear? Sorry. <laughs> no problem. There Good you evening. go. Mm -hmm. Good evening, um, Miss Miss L. You know? Yes. <laughs> Good right. evening, Oscar. All right. Good evening. Well. Uh, well, we can say fasting. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, so, first question. Hi, tell us international, for example, uh, how may I help you? How many, no, do, do you are um, the first line or the second line? Mm, the first, in this case, the first. Okay. Now I could say, hello, may I speak Mr. Amaya, please? No, it's not here, but I take a message if you want. Yes, please. This is Mrs. Carranza. Is a uh, K I K A R R A N Z A? No, it's C A R R A N C A. Oh, all right. Please tell tell him our meeting is on Tuesday at three. 30. Tuesday at 3.30. Yes. And could you ask him to call me this night? My number is 777 7 Zero zero oh one. No, seven 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 four zero three one. Oh, four zero one. Yes. So that's it. And um, okay, all right. Um, all right. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. You're perfect. welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> We have the other Oscar there, Oscar Aguilar. Oscar, you okay? We have teacher, aquí con problemas del internet porque ya me conecté okay. de otro, de otro Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem, no problem, no problem. Mm -hmm. It's okay, okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna have Emma and Joanna. Okay, Emma and Joanna are going to present. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. Good morning. It's a uh, Emma's industrial. Industrious. Okay. Hello, my speaker to uh, Mr. Gonzalez, please. I'm sorry, he is not in. Can I take in a messenger? No, can yes, I take please. a message? A message. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, please. This is Mr. Uh, Gonzalez. Las diez, Arturo. La reunión. Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you. Hello, Rosa. Okay, sorry. Go ahead, Joanna. Go ahead, Joanna. Okay. Yes, please. This is uh, Mr. Gonzalez. No te llamas, Mr. Gonzalez. ¿Cómo te llamas? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, mm -hmm. please. I I am Mrs. Gonzalez. Ah, okay. <laughs> Is that G O M? Uh, for example, S A L E S. No. Uh, Is J O M C a L E C. Okay, all right. Please tell her your meeting is the Friday at 2 30. No, Mrs. Um, Gonzalez, press schedule in a Friday, 9 30 p.m. Our meeting. Okay, uh, I called you at, at her to my this afternoon. My my number is uh, five. Uh, sorry, is seven one uh, five five zero zero. I don't remember your number. Five. I, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, seven. To, for example, seven to zero, zero, five, eight, nine. Okay, my number is, it's uh, seven, five, sorry, seven, one, five, six, zero, zero. I, I, I not remember you know. <laughs> it's okay. Amy. It's, it's okay, uh, nervous. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, thank you, Miss Gonzalez. Thank you. Emma. See you later. Bye. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Pretty good. Pretty good. Just remember, we need to practice and review the alphabet and the numbers. Uh, for, for example, in the chat, what letter is that? J. J, exactly, that's J. What letter is this? G. G, so we need to be careful not to confuse the letters, right? Mm -hmm. G. J, J and J. G. G. Mm -hmm. Good. And for the same for the numbers, we need to work on the numbers. Don't worry. We're going to pause right now, but we'll continue tomorrow. And tomorrow we practice more, more dialogues and more conversations. Okay, Tisha. Well, thank you so much for coming and returning from the vacation. And tomorrow we will continue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.